In the U.S., making it to the national volleyball stage requires great skill, great talent, and contrary to popular belief, does not require a California zip code. Exhibit A, Liam Maxwell. After excelling in junior ball and then slaying it at Belmont Abbey College, Liam has been invited to train with the U.S. Collegiate National Team. I sat down with Liam and discussed how a New Jersey native has made his way to big time volleyball. I'm earning my way to the top, working it, sweating it, and I just won't stop till you remember my name. Till you remember my name. I'm earning my way to the top, working it, sweating it, and I just won't stop till you remember my name. Till you remember my name. Presented by VB Rags. And welcome back for another episode of Remember My Name. Today, we have a very special interview. And I can say this, folks, because Leah Maxwell here today is one of my best friends. Um, we grew up with each other and have known each other for a long time. So I'm really excited that we get to do this in our adult life, too. Like, who would have thought that... I'd be interviewing today, you today about volleyball. I'm honored. Uh, you know, ours is the type of friendship that lasts. You know, it doesn't matter where we are. I know you're in Boston. I'm all the way in North Carolina. It don't matter. You know, friends for life. Go way back to, you know, swimmies in the pool. Um, you know, our, my brother was her brother's best man at his wedding. You know, it's... Oh, yeah. We got bonds. Yeah. We got a lot of ties here. Yeah. For sure, and you know, I wish we could be in person right now, but of course, of course. this this well, makes up for it. Eventually, but I'm glad that I can kind of share your story with our viewers and with our brand too. So yeah. glad to have you here, Liam. Super, super stoked. And let me add something. I know I, I talked to your boss a little bit, VB Rags. You know, I, I wasn't familiar, but then I mentioned to my parents the whole scenario and my dad is very aware of vb rags really vb so rags from what i know and what your boss told me and what my dad was saying was huge on the avp tour back in like the 90s 2000s and the avp for for those watching at home that's like the it's like the professional tour of beach volleyball where they go to different cities same thing as like the pga tour for golf it's mm -hmm. like you go to different cities you compete and VB Rags was huge, you know. They, there was there was big names that were rep in VB Rags. So this is this is this is an honor for me to even be mentioned with the name. Well, we are glad to have you. And this, as our relaunch, is kind of really significant too, because it's like a new era of you know mm -hmm. junior stars and and yourself who is kind of now rising in the professional league. So. It's really awesome. And I am I am honored to do this right now with you as your as one of your best friends. So with you, yes. I, with you, it makes it even more special without a question. Okay. Well let's get down to it. So, Liam. Obviously, you've played volleyball for a long time. Mm -hmm. But we want to know what actually brought you to the game. Yeah, so I always like to joke that I didn't really have a choice in the matter. Um, the Maxwell family is is synonymous with volleyball in New Jersey. Uh, we got a lineage that just goes on forever. Um, a little backstory: my uncle uh, Eric Maxwell is the head coach of Southern Regional, Southern Regional High School, both uh, boys and girls volleyball, and we won a couple state championships there. That's that's a good program. It's a dynasty, as people like to call it. Um, we have photos to prove it. Yeah, so he's responsible for that. My dad is the head coach of the club team, or was forever, uh, the club boys team. And now he's actually coaching with my mom with the club girls team. So it's just like I was kind of born with a volleyball in my hand, as cliche as that sounds. <laughs> I really was. And and my brother, um, Drew Maxwell, is about five years older than me. I got to see him win a couple state championships as a, as a young kid sitting in the bleachers. And mm -hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, wow, what I would do, how hard I would work to get to, to be able to compete for a state championship. So that's kind of, that drove me. And, and you know, the rest is, the rest is history. It's such, now it's such a integral part of my life. I couldn't imagine it without it. 
And you did exactly that because I was I was personally a witness to two state championships, right? Yeah, at least two. I won I won my freshman year as well, but you, I don't right. know. If you but yeah, sophomore and junior and senior year, I specifically remember Madison Ski and the crowd cheering me on. I Thanks. think you actually wore, if okay. I'm not mistaken, you wore my number 24, the jersey that we weren't wearing that night, you wore in the stands. Yes, I did. And, and I'll always remember that. And it was good luck, I, I say to this day. Um, and, you know, we both supported each other in both of our sports. Uh, so you go to Belmont Abbey, you play four years, you become the 2020 Conference Carolina's co-offensive player of the year, Belmont Abbey all-time leader in kills and aces, three-time Conference Carolina's first team all-conference, the 2018 Volleymob Honorable Mention All-American for D1 and D2, two-time national leader in kills in season for Division I and Division II, and the national leader in kills per set, Division I, Division II. That aside, you had a successful career at Belmont Abbey. And I think that just goes to show that even at the school that you chose, you were able to just just make such an impact there. Um, but throughout your four years, I think, which is really, really neat, is that you also kind of helped recruit four kids from our hometown. Yeah, yeah, that was that was awesome. And I think when I look back and even just now a year out of college, all those accolades are, are great. You know, it's a testament to, you know, being able to be healthy over four years and like having great teammates and a great coach. But, you know, the coolest thing and the biggest impact is that what you just mentioned that like I got I had I got four of my buddies from high school, mm -hmm. um, Southern regional kids to also come to this great school and they all love it you know two of them are going to graduate this year yeah um and then my cousin my younger cousin there's a sophomore and then we got a freshman on the team and you know just being able to show them what i experienced which was such a positive college experience and like they're like picking up on that also that great atmosphere that i got to feel and i think vb rags we like to talk about on each episode is the kind of lifestyle that we at VB Rags like to promote. And that's like, you know, being a leader on the court, off the court, um, being a person that, you know, plays volleyball, obviously, but, you know, it's just like a person that you would want to follow in life. And I think you promote that so well, because, you know, if these kids saw you and they're like, oh, he's a great volleyball player, but I think they just see that you had such a great experience at Belmont that they were like, oh, I want to be, like Liam Maxwell, but I also want to have the experience that he did. Yeah, well, you know, listen, I love volleyball. Love volleyball so much. Like literally, like I said before, couldn't imagine, couldn't imagine my life without it. But my parents said something really wise to me when I was kind of making my decision. And they said, you need to go somewhere that, let's just say something happens and you don't have volleyball anymore. Mm -hmm. You still need to be happy where you're at. Mm -hmm. And that was like crazy, because it's like, you know, I'm, I'm going, I'm really, this is the reason I'm looking at this school is because volleyball. But yeah. I'm thinking like, you know, would I be happy at Belmont Abbey without volleyball? And for sure, easy to say now I would because, you know, not only did I grow in volleyball, you know, academics was great in, in my department, in my math department, I uh, grew a lot as a person spiritually. And knowing that, I certainly wouldn't recommend to people that were really close to me, these Southern Southern kids that are now there, I wouldn't recommend a bit, something that I experienced poorly mm -hmm. because I would want them to be happy. I wouldn't just want to be selfish and say, oh, I want them on the volleyball team. I want them to be happy. And I really truly think that they would be. So that recommendation did not come like haphazardly. That was something I thought about. And I'm like, would my good buddies also be happy here? So yeah, it encompasses everything. It's it's about a lot more than volleyball. You know, it's about it's about growing as a person, especially during those college years. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, um, this past year, it was tough. Both both of us were seniors. You were in your, your senior spring season. Um, and then unfortunately, you know, with COVID-19, it's impacted everyone in the world. 
um, but you specifically as an athlete, it impacted and, it, you know, cut the season short, which was, you know, super unfortunate, but has that experience impacted you in a way now that you're competing at a next level professionally, has that kind of impacted your experience or the way you look at the game now? Like, you know, that any, any game can be my last. Absolutely. It's so, I mean, like you said, it's such a bizarre thing because stuff like senior night or like senior year conference tournament or stuff that mm -hmm. I was looking forward to for four years. And then it's just the rug rip out right under you. Like it's gone. And you know, you do evaluate yourself and you're like, you know, kind of like what I was saying before, like with volleyball, not my life, how am I doing? Mm -hmm. And it was hard for everybody, but I thought I was, I did okay. And that's because of a great support system. And that's something I can, I could talk about forever. But one thing that was very interesting about that whole thing was because, um, you know, volleyball took a really t real toll on me physically over my four years. Like I was struggling with my body, but you know, having kind of two months of my season gone, the, there was zero closure. <laughs> so I was like, you know, I took maybe like a week off and I was like, oh my God, like I miss it so much. Mm -hmm. So that like pushed me heavy into the outdoor volleyball scene. Opportunities were, were way more there. So I'm saying, all right, I got this itch for volleyball. I had, I had, you know, there's no closure here. How can I get my hands on a ball in a competitive way? Outdoor volleyball was the outlet. So then I started getting into that, you know, getting into tournaments every week. I didn't think I was very good in the beginning. You know, I wasn't winning tournaments in the beginning. But then I started, you know, picking up some steam. I, you know, I do develop a passion for that, just like I did for indoor. And mm -hmm. it's been so cool. And, you know, it all it all kind of um, peaked with the grass national championships that I competed in about two weeks ago. Yeah. And now it was like, it was unbelievable. It was a, a lot of hard work that went into that. And you've been with different partners, right? Mm -hmm. Throughout mm -hmm. a couple of weeks. So how are they former teammates or where do you, where do you find these guys? Yeah. So that's another thing that's like super cool about this whole kind of, you know, community that outdoor volleyball is, is mm -hmm. you're not locked into a partner. And as I kind of got the in, you know, I started playing some, some just pick up on the, on the weekdays Yeah. and you know, I play pick up with someone who's really good. And I'd be like, Hey, you want to play this weekend? I'd go to that tournament that weekend and then I'd meet everyone else playing there that weekend. Yeah. And everyone's so friendly and like you just make connections through that and then you know you see someone who's really really good and you're like yo let's play okay so you're of, playing and recruiting at the same time no question and it's just like and it's such <laughs> a we it's such a tight-knit community that like you do become friends with all these people and you see so much talent and you're just like you're just like yo it'd be i think we could play well really well together test it out. If it works, you play with them a couple more times. Mm -hmm. You know, if it doesn't work, you see, so you meet someone else and you're like, yo, I think we could play really well together. <laughs> it's, it, it's it cool. It's like a really kind of, a revolving, <laughs> it, it really, it's like a revolving door. It's like, it's like, okay, this, you know, who you're trying to find who you mesh really yeah. well. It is like, the, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's just, it's very cool. I love that you're doing this right now. And I think, um, watching you still play and you know viewers watching watching these clips can see how much um that you en just enjoy the game like you see that while you play you see the competitive spirit and that's what i always really enjoyed with watching you play with that being said what other things do you enjoy doing besides volleyball and working with numbers wow so this is gonna sound cliche I can and so, and hanging out with me besides that oh, i love hanging out with you maddie and i don't we don't do it enough obviously we're across we're across <laughs> states it's a shame but you know i i've found and i've found this out i wasn't always like this but i found i have so many numbers like just with the work that i do that like my most my favorite thing in the world is just to do the opposite of numbers and just like sit down and like read like i, I read often I go to coffee shops and I'll just like, I'll read for hours. Cause it's just like, it's such a de-stressor from all the crunching, like Excel spreadsheets coding that I do on a regular basis that it's like, 
it's just a breath of fresh air. So that's the kind of stuff that I look forward to, honestly, other than sports and, and work, obviously. And, you know, spending time with family is always great. I get to see my parents a lot at these tournaments, which is cool. You sounded really old there, saying that you just like you didn't go to coffee shops. I know. I feel but, old. I feel old. And, I, and you know what? And it's, it's all good. What are some books you recommend? Kobe Bryant. Mamba Mentality is the name of the book. Kobe Bryant was my idol. But you're, yep, I was just going to say, which is your yeah. favorite player. He was my idol. Um, and that book is so cool because it's just like, it's kind of the things that you were mentioning before about like, not just, he didn't just put every, his all into basketball, which he did. He put his all into everything he ever did. Like he was like, he was going to be successful no matter what he picked up. And just like reading what he like, how he thinks and how he operates is very like motivational. So that's, that's, that's a book that people should read. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so to end our episode, I thought it would be fun if we, usually I do like a, let's do 30 seconds to know Liam Maxwell outside of volleyball. I feel like we kind of, we kind of have a great, a great idea of what that is. Thanks to you. So I thought since, you know, we're friends, we should do a little like make sure people believe that we're friends right. and test how well our friendship is. Oh, it's a lot of pressure, but I think I'm, I think I'm ready for it. You ready? Yeah, I think, I think I'm, so. I'm a little nervous. What if I get all of them wrong? Then people are well, like, oh, yeah. Right, and then right. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing is the point. <laughs> Got it. All right. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> okay. Question one. Oh, gosh. Okay. What's my favorite sports team? Favorite? This might be your favorite, but I know we're both pretty big Duke basketball fans. Yes. Is that the answer? I actually put, yes, Duke basketball. Huge, because I remember we watched the 2015 National Championship together when they won it. And I have a picture of it. Yeah. I know you, and I look very young, and you're not going to show that picture to anyone. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> it's too good not to. Okay. Do I go now? Yep. One, so a couple of these we answered to the interview, but uh, okay, so this I'm curious about. What is the position that I play in volleyball and I want you to be specific? You can't just say spiker, you know what I mean? No, There's a position that, that, You're that I- outside hitter. Yeah, all right, good. Yeah, I thought you, if you said hitter, I wouldn't have allowed it, but out, being specific- Outside about, hitter and your left side. Yeah, that is correct. Bonus points. All right, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Continue. Okay, flip side. What position did I play in college for field hockey? <laughs> Do I have to be specific? I know you're a defense. Okay. Does that count? Yeah, I, yeah, I'll give it to you. I'll give it is, to you. Is there like specific, I'm sure there is specific defenders, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, can I take a guess? Yeah. Uh, left back. Wow. Is it right? That was good. Yes. Left back. Left back. Two for two. See, this is good. This is so good. Keeping yes, all of this. Okay. Um, this one you, you really should get. What's my favorite Major League Baseball team? The Boston Red Sox. Correct. That is correct. I actually, as I asked it, I was like, I don't know. I don't know if she would know this, but that is correct. No, you're, yeah, I knew that. Huge. And that's why I want to go to Boston one day as well and join you. Well, I'm here. Yeah. Um, okay, you should get this. What number did I wear in college? Come on, that's a layup. 24. <laughs> 24. Of course. Not of course. my number, but your number. <laughs> the the number, Kobe's number. No. Kobe's number, sorry. All right, this is a good one. Who, I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna, this is gonna be a throwback, all right? Good. Who gave, <laughs> who gave me my first detention in middle school <laughs> on the Washington <laughs> DC trip? <laughs> Mr. Phillips. <laughs> right. Oh, it was the worst, one of the worst days oh, ever. Oh, that was the worst day ever. <laughs> I think I cried. I think I cried on the bus in front of everyone. <laughs> but I thought my mom was going to cry on me. <laughs> Oh, good call. Good call. Mr. Ethan. Phillips, never forget that. Never forget that. Day. And I'm sure he'll be watching this. So, so shout out, shout out, Greg. Hope you're doing well. 
shout out shout out mr bubs um okay last one mm -hmm. where do i like to vacation myrtle beach easy layup I, no well, i think it's just a lamp it's a lamp that i know you so well though you know what i mean it's yeah. not a layup but it's a layup for me yeah okay I, I, you know, the only one other one I had was what was my major in college, but I already said that. Unless you weren't, you weren't listening. <laughs> Data analysis. No. That's what I'm. That's what I'm getting my master's in. What was I mean, then math. No nope. math. Yeah, yeah, okay. Math. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that counts, but <laughs> I guess it's. Yeah, I guess we'll count it for this scenario. I got like I got both of them, so. Yeah. Okay. That is a wrap, but again, Liam, thank you so much for being on the show. And I'm really excited for people to see not only, you know, the type of person you are on the court, which is just a beast and someone that has really impacted um, Belmont Abbey for the future, but just the kind of person you are off the court. And um, thank you again for being on the show and this is like kind of full circle for us but i'm no, really no. excited this happened the circle the circle's not closed yet we still got a, a lot of life to live as, as good buddies next. Right. and that is a wrap i'm your host madison ski and this is remember my name presented by vb rags thanks for watching remember my name presented by vb rags like this video and click the link to subscribe to our channel make sure to follow vb rags on instagram twitter and facebook i'm your host madison ski see you next time i'm earning my way to the top working it sweating it and i just won't stop till you remember my name till you remember my name Earning my way to the top, working it, sweating it, and I just won't stop till you remember my name. Till you remember my name. Presented by VB Rag.